Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Decide and Do with JWs. Decide and Do 176. Uh, and as I get closer to the halfway mark uh, of 365 videos, 365 days, uh, today I was uh, kind of my own, uh, or inspired in my own way by another individual. So uh, I had brought in someone to talk to some of my uh, coworkers and some of uh, the individuals that were in this course that, that was going on. And... Uh, when he talked to him, the thing that he did first was, and I thought it was really awesome, uh, was he played a video for him. He played a video, it was about a four and a half minute video, uh, and it's a video that I've heard uh, pieces of before, but I haven't heard the entire video in its entirety. Um, but the video talks about a lot of the same stuff that I talk about, uh, and, and more repeat than anything, but uh, it talks about the same stuff that a lot of the motivational videos that I watch uh, a lot of the inspirational videos and inspirational speeches and uh, you know discussions that, that I, I take in and, and others take in, uh, but it talked about a lot of it and it talked about you know pretty much the time that you waste right you know the time that you, you wish that you could have uh, have back and he he tied it into you know this was a younger group of individuals that that are in this course uh, but he, he tied it into the amount of time that they that they waste. And I, I took it a step further in, in how I thought about it, and I, I take it as the time that we waste over a amount of time, right? So we're going to look back at a time period and be like, wow, I really wasted time, you know, 10 years of, of my life, you know, between the ages of 17 and 27 uh, were really what I was looking at. And, and I thought about the amount of time that we waste, but uh, more I was inspired because of, you know... Uh, what he was talking about and how he went about talking about it and how he you know used the video to kind of transition into the conversation that he was having and uh you know he's going to be back again tomorrow and he's going to talk to the group again uh, and I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what the you know, second part of it is because it's great and it's it's rejuvenating to see that other people have the same vision as you other people you know go out there and they discuss the same things with their coworkers, with their peers, with their subordinates, with the higher management all around. And when, you know, you have these other people in there, you feel like you're not the lone individual, you know, the voice of reason that falls on deaf ears type stuff. And I was really, you know, inspired by what he was trying to say. And I probably honestly was a little bit inspired more than the individuals that he was talking to because of how I looked at it from my standpoint. Someone else is out there and someone else is pushing the same type of message that I am uh, and pushing out the same type of messages that people that want to inspire and want to motivate individuals are doing. And so for me, it was great because, uh, you know, it was a new individual, a new face to this group, but they were saying the same thing. So it was like, well, it's not just what I'm saying. It's not just what, you know, me, you know, because I've gotten up there and I've talked to him before, but it was someone else coming out, someone new, someone, you know, a fresh face. So that fresh face, though, however, still had the same exact vision that I do and the same exact vision as a lot of the, you know, people that I work with have. And a lot of, you know, just overall inspirational and motivational people, they have the same vision. And it's great because, you know, sometimes you need that to your left and to your right to kind of, you know, be there and they don't have to back you up in what you're saying uh, when you're saying it, but it's good to know that there are other people out there that are preaching the same type of thing, that are out there that are inspiring in the same way and having the same type of discussions. And big, you know, no, the, the biggest takeaway, honestly, I think about it, is just what he was talking about. You could see that he actually believed it, uh, and it wasn't, you know, some type of, Sometimes we get this false motivation and we get these individuals that are just up there that to kind of show off. Uh, so he wasn't. And it was great because he showed that he honestly, you know, believed it. He, that was not something that it was created. It was something that it was coming out of him and, and flowing naturally. Uh, and it was great overall. So those are the individuals that you want to surround yourself with. Those are the other individuals that you want to be out there and you want to, you know, uh, be in a setting like that and know that these individuals are, are talking about the same type of thing. So you need to surround yourself with individuals that have the same type of vision as you. Uh, and when it comes to you know these grand schemes of life and, and these grand visions 
uh, that's what you want to do. You want to be around individuals that are also phenomenal, and what they what they have to say is phenomenal, and how they try to inspire you and how you can inspire them. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to set yourself up and, and set around you, uh, because you're only setting yourself up for success. You know, you're you're not setting yourself up for failure in any way by being somebody out there. You know, I have I have many friends that sometimes question. You know what they're doing and question like in the way that they're doing it because like we talk about all the time you know haters are, are gonna hate no absolutely not keep doing exactly what you're doing keep having that vision that you have and keep surrounding yourself with individuals like that like I said I'm excited to see what tomorrow has I'm excited to uh, you know it kind of re, re kicked me in the butt to make sure that I, I keep doing this uh, as like I said before you know as I've gotten to the, the halfway mark, this is getting harder and harder. Uh, and that's the, the drive that's inside that I enjoy a little bit more because it's something that I have to figure out, something new. I can't keep talking about the same thing. Uh, so when I saw that today, I really wanted to talk about, you know, others that have the same type of vision as you do and how important it is to surround yourself with those individuals. So, hey, until my next video, I appreciate you watching. Like, share, and at the end of the day, look, believe in yourself, know what you're worth, all right, and get out there and, and be great. So, thanks.